Mr. Medicine Man. Uh, this time in the Cherokee National Forest, a couple of miles away from home. Uh, and it's, as you just saw, 22 degrees out here. A bit chilly, not bad though. Uh, last night I was uh, in a double war bonnet. You can see a TY winter coat underneath. On top is uh, one of Paul's Bear Burrito ovens. Remarkable how much heat it holds in. Didn't use a tarp. I'm figuring uh, any precipitation would have been snow. And the BBO does a good job of shedding the snow. Here's another view of Tiwa's winter coat. A uh, remarkable amount of bloft. This one does have two ounces of overfill. This is looking inside that double layer Warbon Blackbird. You can see a little quarter inch piece of foam I've got just for insurance. The piece of kit I want to get out and trop around in, see how they do. It's the North Face slot. It's a winter boot and it's insulated with Primaloft. I'm thinking maybe 400 grams between the two of them. Anyway, very warm. And I also want to see how well they do with the Catulus. And no problem there. Guys, you just saw the no sniveler in capote mode. And I can tell a big difference at 22 degrees without it on. It is an awesome camp coat. Uh, I regret getting uh, this far along in this sport and not using the no sniveler. But this is a really uh, versatile piece of gear. I'm going to show you the no sniveler now as an underquilt. Okay, I took the Bear Burrito oven off just to help you get a little better visual. This is the no sniveler. It's now in under quilt mode. Uh, it could even been a top quilt. Last night I was using the winter coat and inside I was using a winter mamba, so I didn't really need it. But what if I had needed it? It would have been great uh, for extra insulation below or on top. Again, this is the stealth no sniveler. I know some of you guys are studying uh, camp shoes, thinking what's the best. Well, I don't know if these are the best, but I've used uh, several different models. And these are the Neos Overshoe. And they make a great winter camp shoe. The only thing I've done to them is cut a piece of blue pad to put inside the bottom. Uh, one more little piece of kit you may find interesting. Uh, for people who would like a top lid on their Eula pack, this one's made by Mountain Laurel Designs, and it works perfect uh, with a conduit. Now, excuse me, I've got a circuit. Uh, I'm sure it'll work with any of the other ones. If you guys want to add a, a top lid for some extra storage or uh, easier to get to a few items while you're on the trail. Hey, just a couple more pieces of kit. This is my favorite uh, pillow for use in a hammock. It's like an airplane uh, pillow. It's inflatable. It's like 1.2 ounces. And right beside it is uh, a Cedar Summit uh, Event Dry Bag Compressor. And inside that is a Tiwa Winter Coat and a Winter Mamba. Most of the hiking I do, and I guess most people, is on groomed trails. I haven't seen a trail. Uh, I'm sure there's trails in the Cherokee National Forest. Appalachian Trail, I'm sure it goes through it. Uh, I guess what you'd call this outing is bushwhacking. And pretty close to here, and I'm about three miles from home, uh, is a cache that I checked on yesterday evening just to make sure uh, it didn't appear to be tampered with. I put that cache in about a year and a half ago. Anyway, I'm about, I'm going to guess two, two and a half from home. Uh, when I get there, I'll show you guys the lake. Nope, that's not decoration. 
That's a little present from Mother Nature about two weeks ago in that second winter storm. And welcome to a very frozen Ripshin Lake. Here's my little cove, great place for a smallmouth. 